be damn now those new shoes uh they're newish i've had these, these are my ultra I'm, i clean i switch between ultras and my hokas hokas the hokas are too distracting i wore them on stage and someone accused me they're very cool, distracting they're very i can't wear them anymore when yeah. i do stand up but the guy accused me of having cool shoes that's because mullen says that <clears throat> what makes fun of people for having cool sneakers yeah it can happen so they are cool as hell that's they're, why one of these very original redditors repeated that joke true why well, i also you was should have said joke thief bitch these are ass. not joke thieves should have rushed him off i should have literally should have ran at off him stage off stage yeah I mean, like fuck you dude fuck you man that's so fucking hurtful <laughs> i'm up here doing my best and you ought to say shit yeah why are you doing that the hell are you doing man it's fucking bullcrap those were some, those are some flashy sneaks they're so flashy that's flashy sneaks. they're so flashy these You'd are have to more be foolish though to think they're <clears throat> flashy in like a cool way yeah I, I mean they're not cool at all i looked i met my decision i go well thank you my decision yeah I, they're not my, cool guys my shoes. decision i just go yes please i'll take they're this. embarrassingly yeah gauche <laughs> they're just they're just <laughs> pure comfort <laughs> vessels <laughs> well i thought it'd be cool to mix it up you know i've been going blue i've been going blue that, and gray those shoes. look those to me are cool dude these are so comfy. those are snazzy these are the most comfortable i want to do an ultra commercial well, look at that fucking show ankles with cool look, shoes look at that toe box dude <laughs> excuse my ankles dude pardon um, me no i got my tube socks on dude but yeah dude wide toe box is huge it feels like you're in your bare feet in these things you can move around those things are scrunching you up mm. you got wide feet mm. <laughs> <laughs> if i have a son i'm gonna foot train him like a japanese woman Oh, you're gonna bind bind, gonna his bind feet? my son. If I had a son, give him cone feet. Give him just very petite, beautiful yeah. little feet. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. Yeah, it's we'll a dangerous see. game. What give unleashing son- a boy with beautiful, dainty feet? Yeah, why not? He'll be sucked dry. <laughs> oh, he, by everyone, really? Everyone. True. You could you could create the ultimate lady boy. You could work very hard <sighs> for that. Purely bioengineered. Bioengineered. No doctors. No, no two point is getting involved. The old school. Just strictly bring him up as a lady. You're talking the old school. Force him to be a girl. <sighs> Whoop his ass. Yeah, for real. Castrate him. Make him sing. Eunuch. Eunuch. Your Having a eunuch son will be useful. You could you could use an advisor. Can I do? Could I do that if I get the circumcision? Can I beg yo doc? Get the rest. The of whole it. show. Yeah, while we're in here, take the whole show. I need a trusted advisor. I need an advisor for my <laughs> right now. Lemaire is my only advisor. <laughs> He's over there picking his nose. <laughs> well, ew, what are you doing? What are you up to over there? There was just an errant hair on my face, and I, I just pulled oh, okay. it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. What's it look like? <laughs> it's like short black and thick. <laughs> you gotta see him drive, dude. You gotta see him drive. Is he good? He no. He, <laughs> There's his no consciousness way he's a lapses driver. every fucking thirty minutes. He goes into a <laughs> jams a brake and it's like, what the hell are we doing here? Lamar, are you a bad driver? No, I'm a good driver. So Today you're, was a bad you're drive. disputing this. Today was a bad drive. Today was a bad driving day. Clear road. Kyla is number one worst driver I've ever been in the car. Really? With. Yes. Nobody <laughs> takes the cake from Ajax, dude. Really? My cousin Ajax is hands down the worst driver in the world. I'm talking like he'll do a full turnaround while driving and be like, yo, grab me that CD. We're like, no, 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 no. He'll fully turn around. It's the funniest shit. Kyla like, rides people's asses uh, the entire time. She's like, go, get the fuck out of the way. You learn how to drive, fucking uh, asshole. Dude. And I'm in the car. Like, dude, stop, stop. I'm so, you're the person I hate yeah. when I'm driving. Yeah, person people- riding everybody's ass, like switching lanes. It's chosen one-itis. You're like, I'm the only one who knows I how to drive. I need to get somewhere. Dude, it's like, I, I've explained that to my wife before. I'm like, all right, so these people, these are all in your way. You need them to drive at a speed that you like. You need to rearrange the entire world to move at a speed that you like. Because you dilly-dallied before we left. Because you're fucking off. You're fucking around. She'd be so mad if <laughs> you are fucking around. Yeah. It's the truth, though. I used to do it, too. It's like, you're late. And you're going, come on. It's like, you can't even be mad at the entire just be world. be late, dude. Yeah, just accept. That's the thing, too. You got to accept being you know, late. Yeah, I'm late. I'm what, late. What are you guys going to do about it? Yep. And then you say, I'm going to be a half hour late. We're only going to be about 20 minutes. You say, hey, fucking hey, look at that. Early. Look at me. I'm early all the time. <laughs> I got the worm. I got the worm I, this time. I, I sped up for you. <laughs> I really worked hard to get here. I risked my fucking Traffic's life. Traffic's insane. And I got through it. Yeah. So I could get to the podcast 10 minutes early. 
That's dedication. That's I mean, you will only learn that at the teams, dude. I had a I had a meeting with a company that was trying to make me do something. And they put together a pitch, like a deck. So what's, in what's a, a deck? we're in a conference okay. hall with a giant TV screen at the end of this. The whole wall was like a TV screen. Mm -hmm. And they put up a deck of what they would do with me. You would have loved it. What was it? It was embarrassing. So there's a different like, stills on the TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a slideshow with like pictures of me and like their ideas for my future. What were they going to do? It's like Philly, just like hometown Philly, fucking based drinks, it, like just crazy. Oh, they're giving crazy. you the fucking, they're giving you the bird's yeah. eye view. Yeah, give me a thousand foot view. Yeah, so it was like this was like a branding thing, kind of. Yeah, I'm being vague. But How was that? It was. I was dying laughing. <laughs> And the guy who was running it was like, you're not going to want to see this. I was like, no, I'd like somebody to put together the deck. I'd like yeah, to yeah. see it. Let's check the deck out. And it was so bad. It's like oh. pictures of me. like, <laughs> with oh. like a, Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. He knew it too. Yeah. While true. he was doing it, he was like, I didn't put this together. He's yeah. like, we have marketing people. Advert they were the ones who. They're the worst, dude. They're the worst. How many? So how many stills? How many stills was it? Of like different versions of like. It was just yeah. It was just pictures they found. First one was the one with you on my shirt. Nice. Like, <laughs> your face. <laughs> <laughs> like here's where we think you can be in the next five ten years. <laughs> You're just in a dress. <laughs> I was. The reason I brought that up is I was half hour late for that meeting. <laughs> then I get there. They're like, here's some plans. And I laughed. You laughed at them? Yes. Oh, my but God. But here was the hardest part. It was lunch. So we got in. They had subs. These nice. really nice sandwiches. Yeah. But we started eating them. And then they were like, all right, let's get started on the meeting. I took three bites of this thing. And then it was just sitting. Oh. In the Dude, I was like, it was just half-eaten sub on my plate while going through this whole thing. And I was just like. <laughs> just staring at this fucking I stared at a sub for 15 minutes that was the meeting you should have done what Jackson does if I leave food on the table he goes <laughs> <laughs> he just like licks near it <laughs> yeah yeah that's uh, that's tough stuff man because I'll the I'd industry. Gave and be like yeah, let's work pretty hard on that and then you see and you go god damn it dude yeah what did you say were you just like no, I was like, great. great. Awesome. We'll be in touch. Let's talk. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah. Now you're fighting your digital avatar. You're constructing your digital. You know, like in a lot of the. I think it was, to I think it was made independent million. by the Chinese. Ooh. Really? Look who made it up. Ooh. It had to be. This they is, wish they could drop this. This has Megalodon us. written all over it. Roland was, Emmerich. Roland Emmerich. Was there a company or just one guy made it? It says it was what? Mm. German. What are they up to? What do these Germans want from us? How the fuck would Why'd you... they give us Moonfall? I don't know. He co-wrote, directed, and produced it. <laughs> it would probably like... Damn, the, that guy sucks. It would probably <laughs> like the moon to fall on their nation's history. Yeah. Fucking embarrassing Remember as it is. Remember what they did? It's crazy, dude. I, don't, I still, to this day, don't understand how we still even like talk to Germany about anything. Yeah, it's like, dude, especially they keep trying to take the high road on us. It's like, constantly, dude, you guys are being constantly, such dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You guys holocausted in the 1900s. Like we went to Iraq. They're like, you shouldn't do that. We're like, Germany. Yeah. Shut the fuck How up. How about you dude. guys fucking t keep it quiet for a yeah. little bit? Yeah, like, we're going to get the electric cars now. Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. Bet you wish you had. Who's making them? BMW? <laughs> Volkswagen? <laughs> you fucking freaks. Yeah, we Actually, have a, BMW. <laughs> we have a good old president. You know, like you guys, yeah. we recycle our bottles. It's like you guys, Holocaust of Jewish people. You guys, guys killed everyone. Yeah, you guys try to take over the world. Remember, you guys try to take over the world and then kill the Jews just Twice. because. Twice, dude. And we got to sit down and G seven with them. Like, nah, dude. Nah. Get them out of my Get G six. I like the Japanese G6. in there. I like having them in there. Talk yeah. shop. Yep. But they're also on the naughty list. They've atoned. They have. They've atoned. They keep the. They're fucking quiet. Yeah. They don't talk shit. No. Germany talks shit. They're like, we have windmills. It's like, dude, scram. Yeah, I know. I know. We know what look, you've done. We can't let you go. We should cap their GDP because we like we know what you guys do. If you guys get too high on your horses, that's what happened after World War One. They're like, you guys can't have this stuff. <laughs> they're like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they just made it. 
They'd be like, you guys can't have an army. They're like, well, we're going to have an army. Yeah, bro. We're not going to do anything. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're getting everybody. <laughs> Fuck. So unfortunate for them. They had to go and do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I they- fell asleep to Hitler last night. I was listening to Sweet Tales of Adolf. What was he up to? He's such a little bitch about everything. Was he really? Dude. Yeah, he just lies. He glory. He's, he just lies. He Well, he rewrote his history, so it's hard to tell. What do you mean? That's what's tough about biographies about Hitler. It's because once he took power, he rewrote, oh, yeah, glorified yeah. everything he ever did. Yeah. You know? So that he's, I'm at the part where he's... I mean, I had a couple uh, points. He could have left one. a couple things out if he had control, control of the narrative. <laughs> if he I had, had complete he control of like, the narrative. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple things he missed in his biography. <laughs> and I no, killed they, so many Jews. <laughs> they got him at the end. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that part, it was hard to hide. Yeah, true. He tried to hide some of it. They busted right before he could erase his own Wikipedia. They were like, go to him. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, he, uh, all those like beer hall speeches he would give, he'd say like the communists would show up. We'd beat the fuck out of them. Oh, uh, no. It's like the closest we can do is find police reports from after the fact. And it's like, nah, dude. Do you think so? You, you're saying you guys weren't beating people's asses. Germany fell in the clutches of a pretty much a guy who like claimed to get pussy at the beach last summer and was like, yeah, at, dude, at, at the highest level. Oh no! It's like, and then I was giving a speech, and then like fucking twenty communists came in. We all beat the fuck out of them, <laughs> and everyone saw us beat them up. So they were like, "We want to be Nazis too." <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, that's cool, Adolf. Did you think when he started that he had any idea like it would completely crumble and the world would ever like talk about Nazis with yes. disdain? Really? Yeah, they've talked about it. Really? Yeah, they have a lot of these quotes where Goebbels is like, "If we go down, we're bringing everyone with us." Who this is it? Was that why they killed the Jews? Uh, yeah. Well, if we're going to down, we're bringing it Truthfully, everyone. really? I, I think that's, yeah, like the, the whole final solution thing started with like, it's not looking good for us, but we can kill all the Jews so that our kids have a good world. Yeah, they had like a fucked that's up. What the, so they, that was like last ditch effort. Kind that, of. That wasn't part, that wasn't like the plan from all, because aren't they trying to like kill? Uh, they uh, thought they were going to win before they started doing that. Yes. It, didn't I'm they wrong. kill other people too? Yeah. Catholics. How many? How many? How many, no. of, how many of our they brothers? They killed like in the twenty of us, against? but that's a lot. Hey, man, a life's I mean, a life. A life's a life, exactly. Yeah, man. Uh, they got the homosexuals. They got how the many, guys swapping seats on the train. <laughs> how, how many of those boys? Are, how many? What are the numbers the on the other groups? On the train to, what are the numbers on the other groups? Not very much. Gypsies got it pretty bad. Did they? I was onto a pretty good joke there. What? The homosexuals on the trains to a concentration camp trying to switch seats <laughs> so they could sit together. <laughs> but uh, gypsies got it pretty good. Really? Yeah. What are gypsies? Are they just like... I thought it was Romanians yeah. back then. Well, Romanians, but like but now ancestrally gyp- from like Italy. Are they dudes yeah. who just never yeah. like lived in a town or something? I have no fucking idea. I don't know what the fuck they are either. So, yeah, I know, yeah I know. they're like the gypsy king. There There's was like a reality these, show about gypsies. Yeah. Gypsy, that show that actually was, nice. was pretty sick. They all do blacktop. Yeah. They all drive around pickup trucks, do blacktop, and then just go to a wedding and fucking freak out and fight that's the whole all, That's the only thing I ever saw was them fighting at weddings. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing I ever saw. They get blacktop. You might have watched it together. <laughs> I've only seen that scene. And they're all in like steampunk outfits. They're all dressed like fucking dickheads. I know. Yeah, those guys, bro. I mean, I know they got big upped and snatched. That like looked really cool, but I, I'd imagine those guys stink pretty badly. Gypsies? Yeah. I've, one of them killed my great great grandfather. I know, dude. I know. Doc fucking whatever. I forget his name already. <clears throat> beat my grandpa to death. What a piece of Tricked shit. Tricked him. Tricked him into the woods. Doc Gardner. Ran him over with his wooden wagon. Fuck. Fucking piece of shit. Grandpa Dylan was too trusting. Yeah, what, what's their deal? Don't don't they say like the, the like cheat you or something? Like gypsies will yeah, say that you'll seal, the, you'll seal your yeah, driveway. They're tricky. Yeah, they're, they're tricky guys. They gyp you. That's what they, it is. They gyp you. In the caravan, like a snatch. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. But y'all come out and seal this driveway, no problem. I'll just take that 300 bucks and they just go, ha ha. And they're on to the next town. They go to the wedding and fight their cousin right yeah, away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, now I'm going to my cousin's wedding and fight him. <laughs> nice. I finally saved up enough money from ripping Did the Nazis off. get attacked with the by for killing all the gypsies too? No, it's kind of an afterthought. But I never yes. heard anyone talk about it. They got how many gypsies died? No, 
Yeah, I get. I think I well, Romania. Jesus Christ, says, you two, dude. <laughs> Romania. This whole podcast is out of whack, dude, <laughs> and it starts with you guys. <laughs> Numbers. What are huh? the Catholics looking at? There was about five thousand Catholics killed in Poland. <laughs> what? What? Jesus, dude. <laughs> they got about two thousand Jehovah's Witnesses too. But the disabled is like <laughs> almost <laughs> like that. <laughs> I can see like dead skin cells floating in it. <laughs> Wait, how many Jehovah's Guys, Witnesses? We're getting stats. They got about two thousand to five thousand Jehovah's Witnesses. I mm-hmm. think that's inflated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think they, the Jehovah's Witnesses are lying about how many of them died. Yep. It says five thousand to fifteen thousand homosexuals. What depends uh, on who you know? Eighty thousand to two hundred thousand Freemasons, which is like I don't even know. Freemasons isn't that still around? Yeah. And then disabled is like three hundred thousand. What disabled? Yeah, like handicapped people. Yeah. Fuck. How the fuck they get those guys? And then around one thirty <laughs> to five hundred thousand Romanians, which is if you were saying that's yeah. the gypsy gypsies, Jesus. around five hundred k. That's a lot so of gypsies. many people, dude. Twenty five thousand in Auschwitz alone. Don't say it with a delight. Twenty five thousand. That's what? crazy. Uh, Roma uh, killed. Oh, gypsies. Yeah. Damn, they were snatching up the handicap too. Yeah, that was that was early. Yeah, it was like step one. Really? Like we got to purify. It was all eugenics. Yeah. Alcoholics, they were getting fucking sterilized. Yeah. Gay dudes. I like the gay dudes. It's fifteen to five. Ten thousand of those dudes were like, "What? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a gay dude. I'm a gypsy." <laughs> <laughs> you get in there, you're like, first off, number one, I'm not here for that." Dude, imagine your family snitching you to the Nazis, being just a little bit light and low. One night, one night, you get drunk at the yeah, fucking. Dude. The brew house. You Friend. kiss a guy. Oh. You kiss a guy in the alleyway and some fucking Nazis in your face like, you're coming with me. Fuck. Where, dude? Fucking Dachau. Like, fuck. fuck. For kissing? This is crazy. I mean, it must have been all just, dude, <laughs> imagine trying to hide. There's probably a lot of people trying to hide, like, if you, imagine your son was, like, handicapped or, like, a little bit deaf or something. You had to kind of hide, you had to hide him and the Nazis come in. You're fucking, no. Yeah. Just ripping your fucking. You'd be like, Jacob, you see he doesn't look. You'd be like, never mind. He's not deaf. I said, never mind. That's why he didn't turn his head. Yeah, that must have sucked, dude. Them just coming and snagging. That's fucking merciless. It's the most evil shit of all time. That's crazy. It's truly like the worst thing ever. Which, like I've said it before, that's when women get all weird about height on their dating profiles. Little Nazi Nazis, Nazis, Nazi esque, very Nazi ish for dude. certain. Yeah, a lot yes. of very eugenic y, dude. I do think that is in women's biology, dude. Eugenics to I, be like who's who's the tallest, strongest, yeah, you know, yep. They love that stuff. So the Nazis had girl brains, pretty much. It, it is girl stuff. That's total girl stuff. What like they we did. just went tall, like we didn't lose hot. World War One, it wasn't our fault. It was actually Jews' fault. <laughs> nah, dude, you guys were pussies. You lost. <laughs> yeah, I lost fair and square. Fair and square. They tried with their little fucking gas. They started using gas on World War One. Girl like, weapons. Girl weapons. Big time girl weapons. It's a complete girl weapon. Gas, dude. Gas. What are what are we what are we even doing? Like it just seemed like fictional then. Yeah. It's like oh, we've all just been living in a fictional world where this where it seemed like maybe the awards meant anything or something. I don't know, man. But yeah, I'm, I, I think you should have won. Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. I don't, yeah. Get a recount. I, I should demand a recount. Demand a recount. I should stop the steal. You should. You should. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit, though. It is kind of bullshit. They should allow YouTube it is, You watch it, and you're like, what even? It's fucking looks, yeah. the whole thing, I mean, it looks just fake. Or nobody really cares anymore that much. Oh, uh, yeah, I think nobody cares anymore. Yeah. I think it seemed crazy. I, yeah, I just, part of me was like, I, want, I didn't get to ask Joe Quay, uh... I guess they paid him a good amount. I don't know. It almost seems like they set the comedian up to be the scapegoat, though, because it's like they know it's a trash show. Mm-hmm. They know nobody cares. Yeah. I feel like anyway. Yeah. I mean, you can't. Nobody could name probably even 13 good movies from this year. No. Or even seven or eight. You no. know, or even probably. Yeah, I bet they could name seven or eight. Maybe. Oppenheimer and Barbie. That's it. I can't think of a single any one. other movie come out. Marcel Shell with shoes on. What? <laughs> Marcel the Shell with shoes on. That was pretty good. Was it good? Yeah. What Godzilla. is that? I haven't. I I haven't seen it. What is that about? Huh? It's about a snail with shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> he has to find his family. Uh, my niece wants me to watch it, but I have a job. 
did but suffer. I'm sure I'll probably, I'm gonna try to get to it though. I got to check it out. But yeah, but anyway, I think yeah, it just seemed maybe fictional. I, I don't know. Yeah, this hmm. year it just seemed like, but I I. I, I I, yeah, it seemed like they're setting the host of this. They almost hire the host just so they'll have somebody to be like, because how could you even do that well? I wonder. Like, how would you even. Gervais manage? was the yeah, only one. Yeah, pedophiles. Yeah, he's yeah he pedophiles. Just, Gervais just made fun of everybody. Yeah, Gaffigan called him pedophiles. Did he? Did he really? Yeah. Beast. You see that clip? No. no. Oh, dude, it's yeah, Gaffigan called people pedophiles. <laughs> bro, Gaffigan <laughs> is fucking beast. back, bro. What Gaffigan rules. He's back. He's fucking on the bacon. I He's love Gaffigan. Fucking, dude. dude, he had fucking seven hot pockets and fucking went out there. <laughs> yeah. and when was this? Showed his soft white did, dick to those not, people. That's how did they not did. have Cat Williams host the Golden Globes? That's bullshit. Let him go, dude. Five hour monologue to start the show. That would be <laughs> his reign and truth dude, down. Oh, well, Gaffigan, he goes, I can't believe I'm here. He's like, I'm from Indiana. You know, uh, not a pedophile. Did he say that? <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> That's going to be it. It's, the line's drawn now between people who are just being like, yeah, I'm not a pedophile versus people who are like, hey, you know, don't <laughs> yeah. say that. Yeah. That makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Either you're not a pedophile or you're a pedophile now. It's just wild. <laughs> it sucks. Dude. Well, Hollywood just doesn't have any fucking balls. That's the saddest thing about it. Yeah. It's like you don't have any fucking balls. You're not making anything with any balls yeah. on it. Yeah. You know? I wish they would. Like, they don't that's I what it seems cool like moves. to me also yeah. i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about no you're right no, we don't either it's fine. You're totally right okay yeah. i heard i heard there was yeah, a, i'm just I, making sure we're all still <laughs> dumb <laughs> yeah we are <laughs> okay good <laughs> i've gotten so dumb oh man it's crazy yeah, just watching yeah. jeopardy I, i'm not even close dude i used yeah. to have it did you or at least the confidence to think i had it you know like yeah. if they'd answer a question i'd be like fuck i was right there now i just stare at the screen True. Like a, yeah, my that's what uncle, a lot of Jeopardy watchers are doing, though. Just, that's <laughs> it's an absolute time suck. Yeah. yeah, I got a cousin that's pretty fat, I guess, and his uncle would, uh, my uncle would always be like, "Don't get it wrong, or you're fat." That's what he would say to him. <laughs> well, yeah, it I got made it me wrong. So sad. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of Don't get it wrong, or you're fat. It's very funny. <laughs> that kind of shit makes me sad. But that kid is pretty smart. He got it helps. I don't know if I, I bet it's interesting. Just crushing quizzos now. <laughs> Which is a game plan. At least you have a game plan with your child. True, yeah. Um, but yeah, if they had cat, we could even imagine. <laughs> First of all, they they don't even have they only have like three black people at the Golden Globes, dude. <laughs> True. Right? Um and then uh yeah, last year they hired him um who was the guy, the comedian they did last year? Gerard. Gerard, yeah. yeah. And I don't even remember what I don't he just kind of told a story about being black, kind of. And then Yeah, he made everyone uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> he just right. went up there and was like, There's no black people here. Yeah, yeah. He's all like y'all basically all had, the, had to pay a black to, guy to show yeah. up. Right? Which yeah. is true. true. <laughs> like we might be pedophiles, but we're not racist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, it kind of felt like they'd maybe set like if you're the host, you know, I think that you're going to be set up to be the fall guy. That's what I think. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I'm thinking about. No, it. No, he know? he got in, did he get in trouble for? I don't know if he got in trouble for it necessarily, but he said something that pissed off Taylor Swift. That was that seemed to be kind of a thing. Carmichael? No, 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 not not Carmichael. Fucking uh, Coy. Oh. Apparently, that was a big thing. Apparently, he went for her. I'd maybe. He, yeah, he had a but it just a, it seemed like a joke that a writer had written that wasn't. Well, I didn't, I didn't hear the joke. What was the joke? It was just like you'll see less shots of her on the Golden Globes than you will on, at a Chiefs game, right? So just I thought it was just a what? It just it's nothing. Oh, so it's a total media invention. They try to be like pissed. Or, she up. was so pissed. You right. won't believe what he said. They're stirring up the Swifties. They are, yeah. but it's almost like that's the whole thing now. It's just like let's just make this moment. Like we're just gonna make yeah. this moment. We're gonna hire a comedian. He's get. They're gonna be the fall guy because there's really yeah. no way to win. True. Unless you just call everybody pedophiles. <laughs> like See, that's what people did. want right now. <laughs> it's really what people want. People they do. want these pedophiles. The list, the list just came out yeah. publicly. Copperfield, bro. Copperfield. David Copperfield. I was waiting for like prominent politicians like David Copperfield's David a pedophile. Copperfield. <laughs> he's, he's fucking... Yeah, they also there's like fictional characters like Andy Dufresne's on the list. <laughs> <laughs> like... I, feel, fucking... I feel kind of bad for those those actors and the pedophiles. Yeah. This was the one list that ever got leaked. Do you know how many other these Le types of rings are going on? The Diddy parties the, are next, dude. Diddy parties are going no on. People keep talking about Diddy parties. Oh, dude. Fucking Cat Williams, the dark narc, baby. <laughs> <laughs> cat is free cat, baby. Cat's That's it, baby. Em. 
I mean, if he didn't expose Black Hollywood, I was coming Bruh, next. Y'all ain't spaying or neutering anybody in this <laughs> motherfucker, son. Free cat, baby. That's <laughs> where I'm go. at with it, dude. I'll vote cat president right now, bro. Ooh. <laughs> That's, good. That's what we That'd need, good, dude. dude. We could use it. We need a real fucking brother in there, bro. True, or sister. Cat. Yeah, true. Don't leave that out. But cat, cat. The interview was. It was fun to watch, but then you'd like he would just make these claims that were just like sub four three forty, sub four three. Cat got me three thousand books a year. Three thousand books a year is a hundred a week. It's crazy. That's like medical. He must be including like medical pamphlets, dude. There's no way <laughs> three thousand books a year. That's how much he said he could read. He said that's how much he said he, he was reading. From a age year. seven to twelve or something, he read three thousand books a year. Hmm. So what you're saying is they paid you, they offer you fifteen million dollars to go to Jacksonville State. What college? Are you talking <laughs> I think about? it was. Oh. Remember that kid in that video? That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was so good. Yeah, like, yeah, off of yeah, yeah, contract. yeah. They offer me. Like, yeah, I got a bunch of scholarships. <laughs> I think it was near Jacksonville. 50, 50 and the guy's like, whoa. whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they offer you $15 million. Like, yeah, I said no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what does this mean? Yeah, something yeah like that, that line was nice. The sub 4340 was, that was, I think that was the one thing Shay Shay could fucking be like. I know you didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. You're not faster than Tyreek Hill. <laughs> That's the craziest claim. Well, let's check in with this dark oyster over here. LaMare, what do you think about uh, <laughs> what Kat said? What does the black community think? Uh, I think it's, it's kind of like they kind of agree. Yeah, I think we're in agreement with Kat. You're in agreement with Kat. I think a lot, except for the 340, but like the, you know. The 4 340? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he was talking a lot of junk and then, yeah. I think his junk is being uh, responded to nicely. You know who else got a good response out of that? Gary Owen. Gary Owen's a re- he got real one cred now. So he was the yeah. only he got kind of got big up during so the whole did the thing. fucking blue collar comedy tour. Did they did the blue they collar got big comedy up that whole time? Yeah. <laughs> they did. Yeah. yeah. Cat was like, "Those are the guys I like." Let's wow, enemy and my man. enemy though too. Yeah, true. Because they were enemies of like oh, the Steve Kings. Harvey squad. Oh. Yeah, the Kings. Kings and blue Col- collar were serious yeah. enemies. Yeah. So. Yeah, that was wild, dude. I mean, because there's always like a, I feel like, do you see a lot of black folks go, you don't see a lot of black men go in like that, huh? No. Not that hard, yeah. Also in comedy, there's, you don't really, comics like, they don't really go in on other comics, really, because everybody knows, I think, that it's an interesting, we're all weird people. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. Does, Does that make any sense or no? Well, the first part does. You really don't see. But also, I feel like black comics, black people in general, have a lot more respect for other people's business, too. Yeah. So you can't be putting up people's business Fucking like that. up somebody's money. Yeah. Unless you have receipts, too. So he did have receipts. But that well, he was all in their business, which is frowned upon. Cat black came people. in, though. It's true. It was I agree. Ex- it was I agree. exciting. <laughs> it's definitely interesting to hear. Um... I love Cat Williams. Dude, I saw Cat Williams, right? Uh, drive by the comedy store one time on a bike, on a bicycle. <laughs> and it was one of those ones with the wheat where the uh, the lights are in the wheel. In the, uh, <laughs> That's tight. In the sure wheels. That That's tight. 100%, dude. Like 30 people at the same time on the porch were like, is that fucking Cat Williams? <laughs> and he just, and he was standing up. He's like, I guess, like. Some people can stand up on, you know, when you're like a yeah. kid or whatever, you yeah, stand yeah. up on a bike and hold on the, you know, and it, your body works out that way, right? <laughs> so he can still do it, right? <laughs> and so he was just looking over at everybody, dude, just cruising right by, right down Sunset. Did man. he ever do the store? What do you like? I never saw him in there. I think sometimes he, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I said seen him over there, but yeah, dude, I got a statue. Uh, at a Target one time, they were advertising it as a Cat Williams, and it was like a uh, it's like a black Nutcracker <laughs> from Christmas. Damn. And um, yeah, I got it, and I put it on my story, and Cat shared it. That's really? Tight. Yeah, and it was like That's the highlight nice. of my whole year. Yeah. That's awesome. Because dude, there's really not anybody kind of uh, I feel like Cat's like just a uh, he seemed really unique. I think. Yeah, he made it. I mean, he made a big comeback this year. Are you, I mean, he was. I guess he was doing well. I don't know. I haven't been following his stuff. I know he was funny. Everyone thought he was funny. I don't know many anti Cat Williams people who are like, he's not funny. He's funny. Yeah. Yeah. And, and now he's he, the funniest he, thing possible was to, go, was to go on Shay Shay and just spaz, which is the best, <laughs> yeah. the best thing in the world. 
I was thinking too. You could do club chain chain. Club chain chain. Club chain chain. Yeah. Have a couple. Have a couple drinks. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. And you got to put some lipstick on too. Yeah. <laughs> why? Be the proprietor. Why you got to get on the proprietor. <laughs> Fuck dog. Yeah, why not? Nah, every white man in Hollywood has to put on lipstick and wear a dress. True, I'm dude. It. <laughs> I'm, I'm not true. doing that shit. Dude, nah, is it in your, like is it in your contract? Every white man dude. has to put on lipstick. I'm not doing it. Who do you have in your contract has to wear a dress if you're in the movie with you? Uh, <laughs> crazy, though. Like, is that a real... Like, Tommy I wonder... <laughs> who does? Tommy Pope has to wear a dress. Yeah. I have it in my contract. You know, there's not wild. a lot of trans male... Uh, um comedians really is there there used to be more cross-dressing didn't there yeah i feel like maybe yeah dude there used to be more cross-dressing yeah nobody's fucking thinking about that true that's because they used or, to be like there's no way i would ever actually do this well they also they legalized it yeah now legalized. if you wear a dress everyone's <laughs> like damn that guy definitely wants to wear a dress <laughs> yeah you know it it's not funny be, anymore, it used to be funny if i was funny. wearing a dress right now people would be like that's funny hilarious said peak of comedy now if i was wearing a dress right now people would yeah be upset like also, I, wonder if I, would, I don't think I would like having a dress on. <laughs> I wouldn't like like my genitals just being open yeah. under like a little curtain. You gotta cross your legs. Huh? You gotta cross your legs though. Like a lady. Yeah, and I don't want to do all of that. That's why yeah. ladies cross their legs so we can't see their dicks. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Fight the fucking Bleacher creatures. Oh, yeah. it's so oh. funny. Well, it's so yeah. funny to work your whole life and be like, I'm finally a pro, and there's just some dude, some, some mailman waiting idiot. for you. Some drunk mailman. Pussy. Yes. Well, it's the same in what? comedy. Only the problem in comedy, which people don't talk about, is that sometimes the drunk, usually the drunk, is your fan. Oh, always. They came to see you. And then you got to kick them like, out. Hey, and you got to kick them out. I know. And it, yeah. it hurts me. That's the worst. But you know what? What are you going to do? It makes me sad. Yeah. It's pathetic. When somebody has it to It happened leave. to me two weeks ago. Yeah. It happens constantly. And the guy's like, he's my favorite comic. Yeah. yeah. I had a guy in North Carolina. I had to kick him out. He was yelling the whole time. He's yelling shit from the podcast. Yeah. And yeah. Yes. And, and you got to be like, all right, please. You got to head out. That was the fifth strike. Yeah. He's ruined the entire show at this point. Yeah. Him and his girlfriend leave. He f he starts resisting in the doorway. The he's best. grabbing the door. The best. <laughs> he's like, yeah, this because is he's realizing yeah. this is my one thing I'm looking forward to all month. Yeah. And then he goes outside to kick him out. I watch him sneak back in. Yes. And walk. The, he didn't like sneak through the back. He walked to the front of the stage right. to get back to his seat. And I was like, because, you know, the lights are on. You can't really see. I was like, is that? There's no way this is that guy again. So back like, in. The whole crowd was like, do, it's him. <laughs> they had this <laughs> security swarm. You should, do, you should get his phone number and put him on a podcast. He was good. No, put him on and say, listen, I want to talk to you when you're sober. You can represent a oh, whole new shit. breakthrough. Yeah, like, How'd you feel about that? You can break through a whole new thing. How much did it cost you? And how did you feel about coming to see your buddy, Shane, and trying to ruin my fucking show? Yeah, but I don't want to. It'd be like naming a school shooter on the news. True. I don't I'm, I don't know if I want to give him the publicity. No, but you're not treating him nicely. You're saying, look, you're yeah. representing all the assholes every comedian's dealt with. Yeah, it's not a bad nah, idea. They help the show. They do. They're always like, dude, what? I They were just laughing. True. Oh, we're not allowed to laugh. <laughs> yes. They always say the same shit. Oh, you know, in front of the comedy club, they're talking to me. I can't talk back. It's like, no, not like that. Yeah. And I'm not talking to you. Yes. Yeah. I'm talking. We and actually, you're drunk, so you're like, he's talking to me. <laughs> Did you ever have a guy leave he's, by his own He's volition? talking straight to me. Did you yeah, ever have a guy leave by his own The only time we're volition? talking to you is to go be quiet. <laughs> yeah. Then they not think a chance. that's crowd work. Not a that chance. Went, hey, could yeah. you be quiet? Oh, he's trying to talk to me. Now we're to doing shut you act. up. Now we're doing the act I dreamed about, where me and him become friends after the show. Yes. <laughs> True. Yeah. yeah, I think you should uh, definitely get the guy. Because get one of those guys on. It really is disturbing. Well, I don't know, but I mean, it could be the worst idea of all time. It probably is, but it's just <laughs> disturbing because when you think about how many of these people are fans, yeah. because people think of hecklers as people trying to ruin your show sometimes, but I'd say 80% of the time they're fans. They're yeah, drunk. that very rarely For happens. Sure. Once you have a f fans, it rarely happens where somebody's heckling you to ruin the show. No. When they're you don't have fans. There, the people that hate you are sitting there quietly. Yeah. When you don't you have see fans, them, you don't it's attention. an entire room of people who hate you. Yeah. Because they don't know what you're going to say. Yeah. And they're up there saying wild shit. And there's somebody that's like, hey, asshole, shut the fuck up. That's yeah. right. And people are like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's when you got to heckle it. Yeah. I or when they get you with a good one and the crowd laughs. Yeah. Like, fuck. That I always was funny. give it up. I always give it up. I'm like, oh, for good. sure. 
But I feel like I feel like when they get called out, they go like, "All right, all right, I'm gonna turn this around." They keep doubling down. They're like, "I'm gonna do it." I'm gonna finally like, yes. gotta get out. And they're like, "No, no, 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 no! I'm not gonna leave." Dude, there was a guy in Brea this weekend, mm -hmm. front row, and Brea is a huge room. It's like 500, 600 yeah. seats. He's in the front, and any time the crowd was laughing or I had like a good joke, he would go, "Shay, Shay." Shit, shit. And he did it from the start. Ugh. And I was like, bro, please stop. Stop. He kept fucking going. His buddy's sitting across from him like, stop, dude, stop. And he would stop himself and then forget. And like two minutes later, be like, shit. It's so. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. That's it's funny. so fucking infuriating. Yeah. I once had a woman that was not. She was trying to. Like she was drunk. I could tell she by herself. She was an old rock chick. Illegal. I get some of those. And she was. <laughs> But you could tell, like, she was just, like, you know, have been through the mill. And she's by herself. <laughs> and she goes, every time I'd finish a joke, before the laugh, I didn't realize there's a slight pause before people laugh <laughs> after you finish a joke. I think they go right into laughter. But it's always a second, and then they laugh. In that millisecond, <laughs> she would go, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> It threw the whole night off slightly, and nobody would know except me. Yeah, and I was like, I got, I was trying to explain to her, but meanwhile, I was like, "What are you busting her balls for?" Of course, and she's even horrified. Like she almost started crying. I'm like, "All right, just," and it was just such a weird. Vibe. Oh man, how about that girl in Philly with the laugh? Do you remember that? Were you there for that one? There's a girl in the front row that was like borderline. It sounded like sexual, and she was in the front, and it was like. Anytime, and she couldn't stop because once I pointed it out, she couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, and it was like, <laughs> like the, this insane fucking thing. What? And you can't be like, hey, shut up, shut up. I know. It's that's like a you're problem. having Your the most fun. Your laugh is un unacceptable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you? Why would you sit in the front? You knew you laughed like this. Yeah. You banished a man. And bananas. We we exercised banished him. Banished. We no, we exercised him from the crowd. We just kept I kept we kept it going and finally his bros left and he was like and he just walked away. <laughs> That's so we got funny. him, he reached a fever pitch and he just was like and his bananas away. was the first place I ever kicked the table out. That's good. That was the first place. I never kicked people out. Yeah, I that think, was the only I think place. someone kicked like 10 tables out of my just, one show. There was, there was like half, yeah, half yeah, the people. One of the openers <laughs> must have kicked him out. <laughs> Honestly, if that's if I had my way, and I've said this for 30 years. I would not allow drinking in comedy clubs ever. That'd be great. I, but then you don't get paid as much. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Not. That's definitely not. Just the food no has drinking. to go by the food. Just no drinking alcohol. No. What about a two drink <laughs> maximum? Well, maybe True. the problem is they're drunk before they get there. So yeah, it for probably sure. wouldn't even work. For or just sure. swallow like a tranquilizing pill, just to loosen them up, and that's it. Yeah. Like a clonopin. Well, yeah. not a lot of people are stoned the whole show, which also has a weird energy, you know? People on mushrooms are weird heckle. I, they don't even try to heckle you. They'll just be like, that's very good. Like, yes. Yeah. yeah. And that's they're just smart. like laughing like, oh. Like, yeah. I'm like, why are you surprised you're at a comedy show, you know? <laughs> they the, or the people that are stoned are sitting there like looking at you like the whole show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you get done and you're like, you guys hate that whole table hated me. And they're like, that was the best show. I've yeah. Ever. You're like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. And that fucks you up. If you see one table just of dudes yeah. that you know are fans because like, they're high and yeah. they're, you're like, all right, that guy obviously likes me. Mm -hmm. He's wearing a fucking shirt or whatever. Yeah. And that the whole table's like, <laughs> You're like fuck! I'm not living up to what they thought. By the way, we're not talk we we left out one thing. So we're my comedy now is Vietnam veteran comedians like Blake Clark. Do you know Blake Clark? No. Is? What? He was in a bunch of Sandler movies, and he did stand up in '80s and '90s. And he was on a Tonight Show as a Vietnam. He was a lieutenant in Vietnam, and he was like, you know, in it like a heavily. Wow. I think he was a heavily decorated guy. I think he was like a real war hero, and he was a stand up, like a legitimate stand up for years. From Georgia, and his opening joke used to be, you know, I was in, uh, you know, I grew up in Georgia, I joined the army, I was in Vietnam, and he goes, and I still have flashbacks of Georgia, you know? Because I'm the only one that had flashbacks in Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how many vets were comedians, how yeah, many other guys? But, and he used to be a guy, Frankie Bastille, who claimed he was a Vietnam vet, and the way he behaved, you'd believe him. Rich Voss knows him very well, too. And uh, <laughs> I only say that because I knew him. I worked yeah. him a few times. 
But I know if Rich Voss hears this, he'll be like, I was close with him. It's like, all right, you were close with him, and I was Man, Voss. Voss. I uh, miss so Voss. I don't see him yeah. anymore. No, you don't? No, I, I used to see I, That's He was the first guy to take me he, on the road. He's the I greatest. Love, he's the funniest fucking funniest guy. Funniest right. guy in the world. He is actually, the, might be one of the funniest, so one of the funniest people of all time. Absolutely. Everything he does. I love Voss. I just like, seeing him. Now he's nice to me, which is very funny. Yeah. He always, you know, he, he, was, was, always, always, he was always very nice to me. He was always a ball buster. But like, I remember right when I got SNL, he was like, not joking, he came up and was like, you know, I've always been good to you, right? <laughs> I was like, holy Dude. shit. But that's what I love about him. He didn't try to hide it. No. Now, you might. some people might say he's too dumb to hide it, but it's more than that. <laughs> you know what it is, that. But, but you've been um, yeah. watching it. He posts, do you oh, but, have an Instagram? He posts landscaping videos. No oh, shit. I watch them all the time. They're the worst. With Rich. They stink. <laughs> they stink. They're so Dude, funny. Dude, him on digital graffiti was unbelievable. So we had this show. That was physical graffiti? It was called digital graffiti. Oh. We had a show where- See how old be, I am? I go, physical yeah. graffiti? <laughs> there, was a, for Zeppelin. Zeppelin. there was a- uh, <laughs> screen behind the comedian yeah. and there was a group text of other comedians on the screen making fun of the comedian and they couldn't see it oh. the comedian so, on stage yeah what we were saying the word like the chat was coming up trashing your friend as they try yeah. to perform and the so audience a roast is, a silent yeah. roast basically right, where right. the audience can see it silent. and they're laughing oh my god and, and the comedian has no idea what everyone's laughing at she can't turn around and look and it, we would do it to open micers and ourselves and the only good comedian we ever did it to Voss. was Voss. I asked him but to host he didn't know the show. What, he didn't know what was coming on. He didn't on. know what the fucking show was. He I still doesn't know. I didn't know. No, he he holds it against us <laughs> to this day. So he was so fucking mad. But usually, dude, five. I would do like three minutes, and you just can't take it. It's the worst feeling. Your people are laughing at you. Were saying it oh, before. Of course, people it's the are worst. laughing at you, and you don't know what they're laughing yeah. at. So you invent what they're laughing at. You, you like, think it's the worst, most insecure fuck. thing you can think of. And he did fucking but like twelve Voss, minutes. No, Voss just eviscerated us. Oh, the guy's crazy. texting. Yeah. He evis- like, I mean, he he would like lean forward and look at the screen for a second and be like, oh, real fucking funny. Like he yeah. was just so I did more, I spent more of my on teeth Earth. than these guys made all year. Yeah. I was like, damn. Boy, yeah. Yeah. You've ruled. Boy, says, believe me. We even when we used to do Opie and Anthony, people would be trash and boys. There's compilations of you versus Voss on yeah, YouTube, yeah. and they're some of my favorite things <laughs> in the world to fucking listen to. Because Voss, you'll be attacking him, and it's almost like people almost feel bad. Everyone's ganging up on him. And then he slowly <laughs> Yeah, he starts, starts counter punching, back. and he just starts going after everybody's <laughs> jugular, and it's so funny. And his spirit is like, "You take me down, you fucking not without a fight." And it's so great. He's the only one who made it through. He was the only person to stand that, yeah, and go through it. It was unbelievable. Yeah, of see. course, well, that's because he was doing fucking. He's used it's to that. True. That's nothing to him. Nothing. That was crazy. But um, yeah, I would it's look at all the Vietnam stuff, comedians. Though. That would be kind of interesting, huh? Right. Oh, but this guy Frankie Bastille, that's what I was saying. Yeah. So Frankie Bastille, he was a said he's a Vietnam vet, I'm pretty sure he was, but he had a black heart tattoo over his heart. <laughs> nice. And he's like a a, a lo- he was like a Jersey Bill Hicks. Like he would just go up and be like, Man, let me tell you people something. And yeah. the only reason I think he was a Vietnam vet because one time I went on and bombed and he goes on after me. He's the headline it was on one nighter and he goes do you think I fought in Vietnam so you dumb fucks could not like this guy? <laughs> you fucking asshole. And he's just like, oh, wow. Eviscerated the guy. I know, I loved him for it. But I mean, uh, damn. Truly a hero. Yeah, he was great. And I thought we almost, and uh, we did a couple of gigs together. We did a couple of gigs together, but he was one of those guys that, you know, just seemed like a Vietnam guy, you know? And he did say it on stage, so I'm assuming he was. Damn. He was a school bus driver that was a Vietnam guy. Really? And he was fired. He would get fucking fired. That's a good off. bus driver. Screaming yeah. at people. That's a good bus driver. Yeah. That is a good bus driver. Guy who's seen some things. For sure. All right. We should wrap this yeah, up. Let's do it. Hi, guys. Hey. Dude, thanks for doing this. Thank you very sure. much for coming Appreciate and doing you. this. No pleasure. This was awesome. Great. Yeah. No, All right. Bye, Joe. Sorry, this is like a fucking ISIS video. It is. Death to a man. <laughs> You've heard us talk about how important it is to have VPN to protect your online bi- bi- privacy. You know, we've talked about it. But choosing a VPN you trust is equally as important. ExpressVPN is the best VPN on the market. Here's why. <laughs> a lot of you are wondering why. <laughs> why the fuck is ExpressVPN so great? Number one, shithead. ExpressVPN doesn't log your activity. Other VPNs make money by selling your data to advertisers. Not ExpressVPN. All right. Number two, speed. Other VPNs can slow your connection, but ExpressVPN is always blazing fast. Three videos in HD quality with zero buffering. Don't you fucking hate buffering? Yeah. 
Makes me sick. Finally, ExpressVPN is easy to use. Only a fucking moron wouldn't be able to do it. Just fire up the app and tap one button to connect. That's why Business Insider, The Verge, we've all heard of The Verge, and many other tech journals rate ExpressVPN the number one VPN in the world. I love how easy ExpressVPN is to use on my phone when I'm looking at stuff you're not supposed to look at. <laughs> so protect yourself with the VPN I use and trust. Use our link, expressvpn.com slash drenched to get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's expressvpn. Expressvpn.com slash drenched to learn more. Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast is brought to you by Display. Want one of your very own sexy lady posters for your house? You want that in your house? <laughs> Display has a one-of-a-kind metal poster. It only takes 20 seconds to install. Your poster comes with a magnetic sticker. Just pop it on the wall and hang your poster. No power tools, no damage. You can easily switch it out for a new poster. They have millions of designs available and officially licensed designs from Star Wars, Netflix, and more. Wouldn't it be nice to get some Star Wars hanging? That'd be great. Get that and some fucking Wookiee posters. Let everybody <laughs> let everybody know you get cool scene. Click the link in our description and save up to 34%. The discount is automatically applied to your cart when you use our link. Or use code DRENCHED when you visit Displate.com. This amazing deal is only available for a limited time. That's Displate.com, code DRENCHED. Or click the link. I don't know where the fuck the link they're talking about is. Uh, and support the show. Get up to 34% per sweet, percent off some sweet metal art with the code DRENCHED. Thank you. Bye. Last week, me and Matt here were on our way to a sick ass party. They're pretty sick. We're both crushing it. Everybody get up. It's time to space change. You guys ever see the movie Half Baked? <laughs> <laughs> it's like my favorite. That and Sublime. <laughs> I was never high. <laughs> I was like never high once. And then, Fuck. yeah, freshman year in college, I got I was like, oh, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is it. Yeah, yeah. I got high enough that I was like having trouble walking. Yeah. Yeah. What were you smoking on? I forget. I don't know. What we were smoking out of? Yeah. I don't remember. It was like a bomb. The kid I was with was a bit of a wigger, so I'd imagine a blunt. True. They'll do it blunts to Blunts would knock me. All of a sudden, we smoke blunts constantly. Yeah. Dude, those things are insane. They're crazy. I remember. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Before. All right. Oh. This is how I used to get. We used to smoke. We would just take gravity bongs constantly. Yep. Every night. We would rip like three of them. Yep. And I was like, yeah, I don't know if I can smoke weed. It's just because for like five years, I was as high as possible. Yeah, gravity bongs are wretched. They were wretched. That's what the guard dog's on. Guard dog, you rip gravity bongs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right, though. You were like what? You're, how old are you? Not to air you out, guard You're dog. You're 23? Perfect. It's perfect age for grandma. It's about bongs. as tight as it gets. It's very, think about it. Oh, for sure. <laughs> very economical. Sliding into the dog. Very economical, too. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like a bowl pack, right? The size, I mean, it's teeny. They're small. Yeah. It was it was crazy what that what that did to me. Sorry, guard dog. Part my one part of myself was saying, "Don't put out guard dog's business." And I went, "What? He rips gravity bongs? When, so how funny. often do you do that? What do you do, do, do that? <laughs> I think there's some microdoses. <laughs> Titten. Does anybody have any incubus to play? <laughs> you are stellar. Um, you smoke gravity bongs. Yeah, yeah. To go to sleep usually. That's what I was doing. Yep. Don't do that. Just I'm Isaac rest, Newton, dude. dude. I love gravity. <laughs> <laughs> you love gravity. <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton. Oh. Yeah, um, I, re I remember the uh, same thing. I smoked it a couple times, and then I went when I went to CET, we like sat in the woods and just got so fucking high. I was probably like 14, and I remember I dropped a quarter on the counter, and it just went <laughs> boom and hit. And it was like in total slow motion. I was just like. I don't remember the movie at all. I remember just going in there, just being like, "Really?" It was crazy, dude. I think I fully unlocked my schizophrenia. It, like I remember, ET kind of looked like a cartoon to me. I remember just watching it and being like, well, "This was a cartoon." <laughs> and I just like went home and just like <laughs> crawled into my bed and was like, <sighs> "Yeah, that's usually how that goes." I got high and saw the Dark Knight. Ooh, that was pretty sick. So the opening dark... scene was like an explosion for some reason. Like the, uh, could have sworn that's how it started. It was like a purple explosion. Sounds I was sick. Just like, <laughs> and then word of the shooting happened and i was like oh really <laughs> yeah, it was like the night that happened oh was, people were like looking at their phones it was like a massive shooting and i was like 
I started thinking of dying in a movie theater. Like how that would be. Yeah. Like a tear because that kid had like smoke. Did he, he like, really? Tear, yeah. I think he, he was, I think he was wearing a gas mask. Oh, he baked. And he like tear gassed the room. Yeah. And then started shooting. Oh. And people were like, "Yeah, you can't get out." He's what? standing at the exit. Yeah, there's not many exits in there. Yeah. Damn, what an And I was just thinking of how hor- like horrible that in the middle of a movie. Do you think he Joker laughed dead ass? I, I mean, bet he did. I'm being dead ass. He must he, have. You think he was like? Yeah. Although this was <laughs> truthfully, this was opening night. This was like midnight premiere, so he didn't even get to see how sick the Joker actually was. True. I wonder if he got to watch it in prison. I bet like, they gave him a. Hooked him up. I hope they didn't. I hope someone was like, no. Yeah, you're not watching Batman. Don't let it. He doesn't get to see this, dude. He ruined, ruined it. He yeah. ruined it for everybody. And Arch villain, dude. I wonder how much that their box office debut. Pretty bad. Because I remember going to the movie after that and being a little like. Dude, I still think about that sometimes. Yeah. I think we were watching, uh, I was watching Solo, Han, the Han Solo movie the other day. <laughs> stunk. Dude, why, why is everyone saying it stunk? That was good. I'm, I'm not all the way done it. You know, I mean, I mean, obviously, I probably know what happens at the end. It was decent. Apparently, uh, I think it was Donald Glover's character. They came out after the fact and like, you know, he's pansexual, right? To try to get what, some like, Lando. Yeah, to try to get some like hype around the character. And I think the other actor was just like, "They're will you guys just accept the fact?" They're trying he's to make pan? Lando. He's pan. pan. He's pan. What's that? Spy. It's like super bi. It's like you <laughs> pansexual just means you're not like you don't f- guys because you're gay. You just guys because you like to everyone. The, is that cr- look up pansexual. Yeah. Right? This right here. It is. It's I think like it's they want anything f- really. So he like the aliens. Yeah, that's the whole point. It's like the robot. If I was in Star Wars, there's some aliens that could get it. Well, that was down really? that, for sure. I mean, his robot was some kind droids? of hot. huh? Some droids. Oh yeah, that that, that, that was the thing. Apparently, yeah. he was kind of like fingering his robot. Is that like a female C three PO? Ooh, like C three PO with tits. Is there? Oh, there or am is. I thinking of uh, Spaceballs? <laughs> 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 But yeah, that was, uh, one of the other actors that came out against it was like, what, what are you guys doing? Well, I'd be pissed if, like, they made a movie, like, 20 years later. And Lando's, what's that, Carl Weathers? Yeah. Well, there was, is, oh, is that Creed? No, it's the same. Billy no, D. Williams. Billy D. Williams. Yeah, Cole 40. Yeah. Um, Cole 45. Yeah, Cole 45. <laughs> Billy D. He did two characters, Lando and then a Cole 45 commercial. <laughs> when it comes to having a good time, I've got it down to a science. Now, first, you get yourself into the right clothes. And then you get Cole 45. Make sure you got enough for you and that someone special. And then you get yourself to a good time place. <sighs> the rest is easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Dude, Billy D. Williams is going to be pissed. Yeah. That's like touching. That's suicide by black dude. True. <laughs> if you're like, oh, yeah, that character was gay the whole time. He's like, mother. You know, body language tells you a lot about what a person's thinking. For instance, that means she has an interest in the finer things in life. That means she also wants a little fun in her life, but only with the right man. And we all know what that means. You mind if I join you? <laughs> <laughs> but wait, Billy D. Williams is from that time. He's from like the 70s, and he's like one of those free love guys. I can see him being like pansexual. Dude, LeMay, you. watch your mouth, dude, on yeah. about Billy D. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, <laughs> yeah. come on LeMay. You know that that's not the case. <laughs> the 70s black just out there? No. Yeah, man. Especially not hawking Colt 45, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know Richard Pryor was gay, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Everybody knows Very that. Yeah. So that's the 70s. So he just was there a- was one black... Bla- <laughs> you know one gay black guy from the 70s? Paul or? Mooney. Two... <laughs> the same crew. Yeah, yeah. yeah those two probably... <laughs> dude, did I, did I talk about that? Where I watched the roast of Paul Mooney? Or was it the roast of Richard Pryor? Where he like outs Paul Mooney? Yeah, it's incredible. So it's on the on the panel. Paul Mooney's sitting next to him. And he's like, "I want you to know, Paul's a." F-. <laughs> and like everyone's like, uh, and he's like, "We all know you're a f-. you've been a," f-. and Paul knows I'm a. F-. <laughs> he's like, and I want to say it before he says it. <laughs> it's very funny. Damn. Yeah. How'd the Moon Man take it? Everybody's laughing, but I think Mooney, <laughs> Mooney was a little like, "Man." Man, why don't you out me? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that would be yeah. that'd be tough on national television. It wasn't. It wasn't. It couldn't have been. Yeah, <laughs> it couldn't yeah. have been national television. <laughs> one, one, Not for the language, but they were black. Ah, uh, right. Okay. No, but national. No, they wouldn't have put that on. I think it was. I think it was like private. Really? I don't think it was aired. It's on YouTube. Just some old the YouTube. footage is on YouTube. I Damn. think it was supposed to be private. And now it's. 
you know. Is that a private roast? No, he's out there. Yeah. Yeah, people do that still. Yeah. Like in little scenes, you see them and you're just like, who gives them? Yeah. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tight. What else is going on? What do we got? What's on the record? There was a uh, car full of black dudes that got just shot with shotguns. So there was some boys in that small town were getting rowdy. And that's when Bruce went up the day after. There was like, there was riots. Bruce, you know, he saw some of his boys. He saw started strumming. Boys. He wore all dungarees. He full put the, dungaree he, out. That was a bandana flag. So he's like, yeah. Ripped the sleeves he, off. Immediately, he was like, I'm not having this. I got to fix this. But he said he did. He was trying to talk to some of his black friends. And they were like, not today, Bruce. He was like, I understand. I wouldn't understand. Yeah. Well, he, uh, but he was saying he was like, it was the like, best way for us to get past this is for us not to talk. Yeah. That's the best way to solve these problems. Well, Brock, for us to understand we can't talk. It was so funny because Brock was like, well, that was him leaving the door open, but just saying like, not right now. But yeah, it's good. Saying, I think it's important for guys like Brock Hussein Obama to speak for the entire black community. For sure. Yeah. But yeah, dude, it was, uh, it was weird. It, it, he was talking about that, but he did say, I think he was talking about how he's like, you know, my family is a bunch of rednecks, but I love them. He's like, I love them. They're the people I love. They're small town folks. They ain't perfect, but they're the people I love. It's like, so maybe he's still, maybe, maybe he loves Trump. Bruce Springsteen might love Trump. I doubt it though. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah. Trump's Unless he's best. deep, on, he might be. He might be deep undercover. Yeah, but I, I doubt he is. But yeah, that was his whole thing of him as being like, "Yeah, we got a lot of guitars up here. And let's let's keep a pick ready in case I want to make some music with you, Barack." But I, I bet like, Barack. Yeah, Barack. Like, I've been known to sing. He said he's been known to sing. Yeah, if he has some live. I bet he's got a good voice. He's got a great voice. I bet he can sing. Probably does. Barack's yeah. outsider story was sick. What he was just this? lived in Hawaii, and he yeah, he was chilling with his Scotch Irish grandfather. And people would come up and be like, oh, is, you know, like, is he like Hawaiian? And uh, his grandfather would be like, he's actually son of the king of Hawaii, like, you know, royal, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And he's like, but I didn't look like anyone. So he was jammed up about that. Yeah. Bruce was like, my dad looked up. He's like, I didn't look like anyone. And they're just yeah. like, born. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the whole episode is just them. It'd be funny if his, his Hawaiian dad was like. Dude, this this kid is black as hell. What are you talking about? <laughs> this black kid? No, he's from like Kenya. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I think his dad. Yeah, his dad was uh, African. He was from Kenya. Yeah, his Kenya. He certainly was. And his mom was a cornbread white Kansas? bitch. I yeah. think Kansas, right? You're absolutely right. I believe I know that. You are Brock, then. I'm definitely Bruce. No, I'm more Brock. You, I, I knew you were. All right. You're a statesman. I hate this podcast. Like, well, we can put some shoes on. He's gonna see you with your bare feet. And it was like, who cares? And it's like it was like highly offensive. I wouldn't be with my girl if she did it. She was just out barefoot walking. And I was like embarrassed in my soul. I was like, oh, I'm out here walking with a barefoot woman. Oh, see, yeah. You're saying that there's nothing hotter to me than a chicken or bare feet outside. He's got a white lady. Oh, there you go. Well, I just tried to throw that out there and then not go any further. She's a white. Yeah, white ladies love. You gotta let. I just sat up. Relax. I, I wasn't. You I was, gotta nah, let. You, no. If you have a white lady, you have to let her bare feet touch the ground, and then she'll go inside and write an Instagram post like this long. Just let her do it. She needs it. Do you have live, laugh, love cursive in your apartment? Nah, man, my apartment's black. I got it. <laughs> just, just so if my family comes, I'm like, no, nah, she's a good one. Like that's yeah. How it is. So what do you I, have in your apartment that makes it black? Uh, I, I can't think of the name of it. Other people's stuff? Mayor's <laughs> 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 pissed. Mayor's <laughs> pissed. Shut up, Mayor. <laughs> Lemire was pissed. Did you see him? Uh, Lemire used to live with us for years. Yeah, yeah, he's he's been there. What do you? I have um. I don't know. You know the painting of that like black concord that's in the um. Yes. The museum over. Yeah, the moor. Yeah, yeah. That thing rules. Yeah, I got I got that all in the Philly Museum. Have you ever seen that painting? Never seen it. Oh, I was in there the first time I went in the museum. That painting stuck with me. I was like, damn, how is this not everywhere? I was a black dude. This would be like a painting of like Napoleon for us. Yeah. Rules. He just went, I think, through Spain, just like yeah, he's more people fucking up. people yeah. up. I think he's in like an all white thing with like a sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah rules. I kind of does kind of rule. Yeah, I got that. It made then... him a little blacker than I would have liked, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a mass I murder. Think the, Moors were, the Moors were a little more North African Arabic, but that's fine. That's you fine. think? You think they claimed him? That's fine. That's fine. They did. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they certainly did in that painting, but that's fine. That's fine. That's, fine. that's, fine. that's, fine. that's, fine. that's all y'all do is claim by the whites. Like who? 
Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Who, Jesus? For, for the record, Jesus was blonde hair, blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. why they killed him. <laughs> yeah, they were like, freak, get him out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the way they discovered him, they was dancing at the Last Supper. <laughs> that was and it. Jesus was out of tune there. What the? <laughs> he must, he's not one of us. <laughs> yeah, all the apostles were black. Just not Jesus. They were just following. <laughs> they were just yeah, following, following the great white leader. <laughs> so what did what did you also have? You have you have the more. I have the more. Then it just gets nerd black, like uh, pop figures of uh, like from coming to America. That, that's gotcha, it. gotcha. It's not that. It's not that. I don't. I don't decorate. It's yeah. just walls, a dope picture, and, and that's it. Damn, so what, you're stifling this chick from putting up like. Like scented wood chips. Pump. You put up a picture of her family. I just threw it at the wall. <laughs> just, 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 like these white old people. No, no that's, that's actually fair. <laughs> that's actually fair. I'll give True. you that. You don't want to wake up and see that every day. <laughs> just like thinking about the times they said in the past. Before. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be like if somebody put up like a Dallas Cowboys fat head <laughs> in my room. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is the team I hate. <laughs> Get rid of them. Yeah, Brittany definitely took control of our house and black arted out. I noticed big some black time, art dude. in there yeah. when I got in there. It's strictly black art. I was excited about that. It's it pretty made tight. me happy that you had black art. He has like chicks with afros. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, like foul power. It's like an airbrush of like a power, yeah. like holding up the power fist, yeah. afros. You have to let, yeah, Brittany, Brittany deck, decked it out. Yeah. <laughs> you have to so when your family comes over, they're like, oh, he's, they didn't turn. They're still like one of us. Yeah, I might, I might throw up like an airbrush at David Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just well, you just have to have the reverse paintings. But no, I was going to put, like, George Bush. Yeah. Get yeah, one of, one yeah, of like, just, George Herbert Walker. Just have one of those, like, above the couch. And oh, we can flip like it? Like a presidential <laughs> take da- a portrait of him. David Duke is only famous to white people. Like, I don't know what he looks like. Like, I know I the know. name now. I don't know what he looks like. I just like. know the name. Oh, all right. The, the name's, the name's just funny. Sydney called me the other day just... Kind of not like defending David Duke, but he's like, I mean, he's got a right to it. Sydney's when he op- when he like opposes this thing, it's so funny. When he goes contrarian on this thing, it's so funny. He was like, <laughs> Look, man, David Duke, you know, it, it, I forgot what he was saying, but it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do have to have the reverse True. paintings yeah. for white people. It's like Kincaid paintings. What's Kincaid? Um. They're like those cozy looking, like it's like a picture of like a cabin yeah, with yeah. like smoke coming out yeah, of it in no, the woods. That's, that's pretty nice. I think it's the top selling artist of all time. Really? It's Thomas Kincaid. Who's the guy who paints like the whales? That's what I'm into. Remember on like the, the folders? There was a guy who strictly oh, painted whales. Folders <laughs> of like whales, like, unicorns. Yeah, that's a guy. There's a guy who does that. Damn. He, he has a store in California where he sells like the like real binders. paintings of what wow. originally you would find on a binder. You can go buy one of those and just have like a sick shot of like a killer whale with like a couple dolphins. True, <laughs> like moonlight, moonlight yeah. in like a purple yeah. sea. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. I think both races would agree on that. I think so. Yeah, that as if there's only everybody. two. Some killer whales. That's the way. <laughs> Sorry, Noah. <laughs> Forgot to check the other box. Yeah. Did you no, check no, other on your census? I'm not filling out the census. You better fill out the census, what? dude. No, dude. Right, no, what are you? <laughs> what are you? Yeah, I can ask that. It's okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I'm Irish and Italian and Native American. Ooh. Take that. that. last one. What Take that, baby. <laughs> I was wondering where the tent came from. Like, you, you had nothing about you. I thought you were. That's Italian. That's Italian? Could be. Okay. <laughs> He's a Ginzo, dude. You know, I, I believe it took me a while to realize. <laughs> <laughs> right, who, so I didn't man. even realize Italians could look like that until, what's the boy? I forget his name. Anthony in New York. Wiener? Anthony Wiener? Nah, oh, comedian. DeVito. Anthony uh, DeVito. I did yeah. something with him like in Allentown or something like early. And, and I just, until like the end of his set, I thought he was Middle Eastern. And then he just was like, I'm Italian. I was God damn it. Yeah, changed my life. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of Italians come off like Noah. But, you Southern know. Italy had a. That's where the my Moors, the Moors attacked. Isn't that where yeah. my man ran through? Yep. The ball in the... Yeah, Southern Italy's always had a, a long history of trade throughout the Arabic and Mediterranean world. So yeah, you run into a lot of Noahs floating around. Where us true crusaders would come down and be like, "What are you?" <laughs> <laughs> be like, "I am one of you. I am a cat- Catholic. Oh, please, uh, no." And we'd say, "All right, show us where the Muslims are." <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd get on a boat. 
<laughs> um, what are you? <laughs> what the hell are you? I came here from England. I'm pissed. Let me see your sword. <laughs> All right, you're cool. <laughs> sweet. That's actually a pretty sweet sword. <laughs> You know, when I'm spending a relaxing evening at home with my very special lady, I like to treat her to the very best. I wear the finest clothes, serve the finest gourmet foods, and we enjoy the sparkling taste of Bolt 45 malt liquor. There's my lovely now. Oh, that bus ride got me time. My feet is killing. I know you got something to drink. What'd you expect, Whitney Houston? Would you sure like to skip the plastic loops? Ah, but of course. Splendid. Do you find it acceptable, my flower? As long as you paint, it's fine with me. <laughs> and excuse me, I am a lady. May I please have a paper bag and a straw? <laughs> you know, Bolt 45 has a fine, rich flavor. A mature, multi bouquet. Bolt 45 also has five times the alcohol content of the average stout beer. So it gets any lady in the mood for what I'm after. Let's get busy, baby. Somehow I knew she wouldn't refuse me. What'd you say, my flower? You like to slip into something more comfortable? She's such a devil. So remember... If you want class, get champagne. But if you want to score, get the powerful taste of both 45.